Good afternoon, wonderful angels of year three. You're welcome to today's literacy class with teacher Francis Solomon and teacher Joan Abdullahi. I hope you all are doing well at home. We promise you that today's class is going to be very, very interesting. And as such, we want you to sit tight as you ride with us. All right, class, you are once again welcome. Hope you've gotten your pen and your book and ready to learn. All right, so ensure you copy all your notes, do all your writings, do all your work. It's very important. So today's topic, as you can see right before you, is regular and irregular plural formation. Can we take that again? Regular and irregular plural formation. So, let's get started. All right, look at the starter before you. What do you observe? Yes, I can hear you shouting. These are shapes. They are beautiful shapes. But what do you observe about the shapes? Yes. Have you noticed anything about the shape? Like the, the square, the hat, the triangle, and all of that. Do you notice anyone that... You know, okay, this, on a good day, they always take this pattern. They are always drawn in this pattern. And some that, mm, they change, they vary, they are not looking, they are not a perfect shape. They are not looking perfect. A kind of a curve here, a curve there. We don't have maybe the straight lines. The lines are not straight. So, have you noticed any of that? Now, if you've noticed that, those ones without the regular lines, all right, are called irregular shapes. And the ones with the regular lines, like the normal straight lines, yeah, are called the regular shapes. So sort them out now, and let's see if you've been able to do that correctly. Yes, let's have you sort out the regular shapes one side and the irregular shapes the other side. I believe you're carrying out the instruction. Let's see what we have next. Irreg the regular shape. Yes, for the regular shape we have a square. It has the normal straight lines, no curves here and there, right? We also have a triangle. Yes. Triangle, triangle, where can you be? All right. What do we look for and what, what do, do we see? Yes, I can see a triangle there. All right. And the next regular shape is a circle. Remember, the lines just go on like that till it gets to a perfect circle. So, what are those irregular shapes? Okay. Yeah. We have the heart. Yeah, some say there's a symbol of love. We can love raising the heart. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's quite interesting to know. And as you can see from the drawing, it does not have a perfect line, right? The, you're having a bit of the cup in. Yeah, you can see that, right? And that's another one, like... A quarter, yeah. Of a cycle. Yeah. Yeah, perhaps teacher Joan has taken part of it to teacher Ernest, you know. Oh, that's <laughs> quite interesting. I've taken one quarter of it, and you have the remaining three quarters. Yeah. <laughs> For teacher Francis. You know, he, he likes a lot of, you know, let me not talk about that. So, the next. All right, we have the last irregular shape. Now, like Joan has explained, when we talk about the irregular shape, it doesn't have same patterns. The patterns are different, unlike the regular shape where you have same pattern. Now you could hear the sound of a drum. Yes, it has a regular pattern. Now let me change to an irregular pattern. You have something like... 
That's an irregular sound. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Some are already saying that's the way I like it. All right. Let's get going. Now, what we have are what's a regular plural formation? Regular plural formation. Let's see what it's all about. Before then, can you make your guess? All right. Let's see. Usually, nouns also change their forms from singular to plural. Some are called regular plural because the plural form of the nouns only take an S. Yes, it doesn't vary, all right? Anywhere you see the words, anytime they want to change from their singular to their plural form, it only take an S. S. You know such words, right? So let's see how smart you are. Come up with your examples. Let's watch out for what we have for you. All right, quickly. Write some regular verbs. All right, here are examples, nouns, plural, regular formations. And we have one, computer and computers. You see there? And the next we have... We are cheer and cheers. Okay. And the next we have table and tables. Next. Toy and toys. And the next we have book and books. Now all these are now plural regular formation. We could see from the singular formation, there is no S. Why in the plural formation, S is added? Yes, and that runs through all the words. Computers, chairs, tables, toys, books. Did you take note of the word toy? Yes, toys. And that brings us to this note, all right? You are to note that... Words that have vowels before the Y fall under the pattern, the, that is the regular pattern formation, okay? Words with vowels before the I, the Y takes the regular plural formation, that is just with the addition of an S. So very importantly, take note of that. And that takes us to the next, which is... What are irregular plural formation? What are irregular plural formation? Yes, from the shapes. Have you been able to come up with your own definition of irregular plural formations? Yes, they don't take a regular pattern, regular lines and all of that. Now these are... Now that form the plural through various means. That is, the information do not take a regular pattern, just like this sound. Exactly. Hope you're enjoying your class. Rules for irregular plural formation. For instance, in a situation where you have nouns that ends in a consonant then a y that is you have consonants plus y that is when you have consonants before the y it takes i e s when you have consonants before the y it takes i e s unlike the other one when you have vowels before the y it takes only s but this one consonant before the y takes i e s now another rule is words ending in c h S, 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 H, X, Z, 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 and O. Forming its plural takes an E, S. The take E, S. Take note of this. This will guide you. 
Now it ends with any of the following CHS, SS, SHX, Z, ZZ, O, take ES as plural. Now let's look at these words. We have church, churches. We have branch, branches. We have bus, buses. We have dress, dresses. We have glass, glasses. Yes, all you need to do is to add ES to make the plural formation. Hope you are taking notes. And we go to more words on X and O. When you have words ending with X and O, they take the ES as well. Box, boxes, fox, foxes, dish, dishes. All right? Plural formation of nouns end with vowel. Now, let's look at this. The vowel, or let's look at this, singular and plural. We have mango, mangoes. We have echo, echoes. We have potato, potato. We have zero and zeros. Take note of the slide. Something is missing. Are you able to figure it out? Yes, please. All right. And that is? Potato, potato. So what are we supposed to add there? E. The E-S. All right. Beautiful. Well done. Now, examples of irregular plurals formation of nouns where we have consonants before the Y. Consonant before the Y. And we said they take what? I. E -S. S. Beautiful. So we have lady, ladies, baby, babies, city, cities, family, families, Larry, lorries, party, parties, activity, activities. Well done, teacher Francis. Thank you, teacher Duran. Please, can you roll it up for me? Roll, roll it up and let it go. regular and irregular nouns from the box below. Quickly do that. Check it out. Sort them out. One, two, three, counting up to ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. ten. Hope you're able to carry out these activities. Honestly means words, honestly means words, but then saying the truth at all time. Honesty, saying the truth at all time. Let's go. All right, let's see how many of you chose to be honest. And we have regular, we have chair, toy, table, church, computer, cup, and book. Is that correct? Is someone able to figure out something that ought not to be there? Yes, please. And that is... Church! Church! Alright. So... Alright, let's go to the irregular. We have bus. We have branch. Family. Box. Lorry. Church. Fox, potato, mango. All right. Good job, guys. More examples on irregular formation of nouns. Okay, just check it out. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Quickly, let's move on. Home fun. I love it. It's home fun. Yes. So you have to check up your English skills, page 31, attempt exercise B and C. And lastly, list out six examples of regular and irregular plural of nouns you know. Beautiful. Well done, guys. Thank you all for your time. And that brings us to the end of today's class. See you next time. Bye. Bye.